Hello Lesbian Central, so it is Tuesday today. Uh, I'm really not used to saying that. I took Sky's day uh, when she had to leave the channel. Mondays were always really busy for me, so I thought Tuesday might be, uh, might work a bit better. So, I'm your Tuesdays now. So you start the week with Haley and then me. So this week's two topics are either what to do when a situation turns violent and or the things we want to do before we die. So bucket lists. This one was actually really fun for me. I wrote down. Oh, this is my songwriting notebook. It's super special. So they're in no particular order. Um, but number one on my list is I need to meet Ellen DeGeneres before I die. Um, Ellen obviously has done so much for the gay community as a whole and just personally for me, see when I came out to my mom, she went and bought um, the book that Ellen's mom wrote called Dear Ellen and it's just about having a gay child and kind of what parents go through with that. I'd really suggest it um, if anybody's parents are kind of struggling with the idea of them being gay. It is a great book. It's a great book for parents to read. Number two on my list is I really want to see the Northern Lights before I die. Um, something about space and stars and all that has really interested me since I was really small. I used to ask for a telescope on my Christmas wish list every year. Saw it in, oh, what movie is that? It was some dog movie, like Balto or White Fang or something like that. I don't even know. They see the Northern Lights in that and ever since then I've always wanted to see it. Number three, um, I will not be happy unless I see Adele play live in concert. For me personally, as a musician, Adele is a huge inspiration. Regardless of whether or not you like her music, whether you think she's depressing, anything like that, you cannot argue that Adele does not have one of the most amazing voices of our time and of all time. Um, Adele, to me, is just pure talent. If you somehow didn't know this fact, all of Adele's albums are named after how old she was when she wrote them. And the fact that the album 19 was written when she's 19 blows my mind because I'll be 20 next month, but if I had written an album like that when I was 19, it all makes me feel so unaccomplished in just the best way. Because I just wish that I could write an album like that. Number four um, is I want to get married and I want to have a family uh, at some point in my life. I guess step one is having a girlfriend would be cool at some point in my life. Uh, and then after that, yeah, I want to settle down at some point. I need someone to like, leash me up and just like, tie me down physically. And then I will marry them. Number five ties into number four. I definitely want children. Little kids are annoying shit to me, but I'll deal with it until they get older and then they're cool and then we can just hang out. I want to have one child of my own whether through the insemination business or mixing eggs, scrambling eggs with swimming, guys. I don't know how it works, but I want one. Then I want to adopt two children. I put a lot of thought into this. I figured if I had one child and adopted one child, the adopted child might not feel as much my child as my actual child. But if I have two adopted children, there's two of them. They can just gang up on, like, my actual kid. Not that I wouldn't love them as much. I would love them just as much. But I've just heard about adopted children just not feeling as much like their parents' kids as the biological children, so I figured I'll start a gang of adopted children that can just bully my real child. You know, I'll put some more thought into that one. Number six. I want to have a song on the radio at some point. Um... Music is my fucking passion in life. Uh, very few things make me as happy as playing music does. So if I could somehow turn that into a career, that'd be awesome. Number seven is skydiving. Um, I don't really want to bungee jump. I don't. I feel like like I would be that person that like when they're like, oh, like one in a million people gets the cord wrapped around their neck. I'm always the one in a million person. Never in the good way, like one in a million people win a lottery. No. I'm the one in a million people that got like struck by lightning, cut their finger off, and a bunch of jump cord. It would be me. So stay out of that business. I'm gonna be the skydiving person and hope that I'm not the one in a million whose parachute doesn't open. Didn't really think about that. Skydiving, yay. Number nine. 
I want to propose to someone. Um, I wouldn't be like mad if someone proposed to me, but I would love to be the person who proposes. Just the idea of just being shot down when you're asking such an important question is just so... Sounds so appealing to me. Number nine. I want to do stand-up comedy before I die. Uh, stand-up is always something that's been really interesting to me. And for some reason I like putting myself in situations where it can either go really well or I'll be really embarrassed for like the rest of my life. Stand-up. Why not? And the last thing on my list is something that has been on my bucket list since I was like probably 10. And the older I get... And the fact that I have not done it yet, just it keeps getting creepier. The older I get, the creepier it gets. I have always wanted to pick up a kindergartner, like, by their backpack. Do not ask me why. I've never, like, seen it done in a movie or something. I just remember seeing, like, kindergartners walking around with their little backpacks on that are, like, the size of them. And they're just, they're so, like, tiny. And I just, I just want to pick it up. Just want to pick it up by its backpack. I have no idea why. I honestly cannot tell you where this comes from or what kind of sense of accomplishment I would feel afterwards. No idea. I've just always wanted to do it. And the older I get, yeah, it's gonna be creepy if I'm like 30 and picking up some kindergartner by their backpack. If I was like 12, we could maybe like write it off as like a weird thing for attention. The older I get, the weirder it's getting, so I'm just gonna have to figure that out. I'll let you know how that goes. Yeah, those are the top 10 things I would like to do before I die. I'm sure there's like so many other more important things than like half the shit on this list, but it is what came to me, so that is what I'm going with. So keep the auditions coming. Um, there's been a few auditions that I really like so far. Get them done like now. Don't be that person that gets it in at like... 11.59. Get it in early so we can see it and talk about it and learn to love you. And go congratulate Haley for making a Monday spot. Uh, for becoming a regular. She deserves it, so go congratulate that lady. And I'll see you guys all next week. Bye.